What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on chapter 6 and the final video in our SSI React Write program. Now we really hope that these review videos are going to help you prepare, say, for your final exam for the React Write program. But once again, if you're a non-diver, we really hope that you seek out an SSI React Write instructor because this class is great for anybody and everybody. Everybody. You can use the same tips and techniques that we as divers use, say, to the general public as well. And you never know when you become a first responder who you're going to have to help when you're out there in the public. So the first part of chapter six, of course, is learning about emergency oxygen. What is it and how do we administer it? Now, the first thing that, of course, your SSI React Right instructor is going to go over is how to identify what emergency oxygen is and how to determine what cylinder are being used, say, for an emergency oxygen. So you're going to learn how to identify and you're also going to learn how to assemble, say, an emergency oxygen kit. You want to make sure that there's sufficient amount of O2 supply before you even attempt to give, say, O2 to a patient. Now that you determine that you do have emergency oxygen on hand and you've properly assembled the system, there's several different things that you can use to apply, whether it's nasal cannula or non-rebreather mask or positive flow mask or what some people call a positive pressure mask. Once we've determined that we have all the equipment, it's in proper working order, you can administer it to a patient. Now, nas nasal cannulas are not going to quite give you quite as much oxygen as, say, a non-rebreather mask, but they're going to be basically better than nothing. Now, based off your current resources, what you have, what you may find on a boat. You want to make sure that you ask questions of whatever charter system you're on or even ask questions at your local church or your local school to see what supplies they have. Now, a lot of divers who become avid divers, they actually carry their own emergency oxygen kits with you. You can get it in several different sizes. I know on our personal charter, we've got several different oxygen kits that's available to, say, both rescue divers and even our dive professionals as well. But that's something that you can seek out to see what's going to be available for you in your local area. Now, not only in chapter six are you gonna learn how to assemble the system, you're also gonna learn how to disassemble the system itself. Now, of course, we all understand that oxygen can be combustible and it's part of the fire triangle. So we wanna make sure that we're assembling and disassembling it appropriately because we don't wanna risk ourselves or even the patient that we're trying to treat. So your local SSI React Right instructor is gonna go over the assembly and the disassembly process so that you can stay safe while trying to administer aid. So guys, that's going to do it for chapter six of the SSI React Right program. I really hope this series has been helpful to you. I hope it properly prepares you for your final exam. And I really hope you use this as a review series as well after you become certified as a React Right personnel. Now guys, if you did like this series, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it. If you got any questions, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer it as quickly as I can and as best as I can as well. But guys, once again, I hope you enjoyed the series. I'm going to go ahead and sign off for today. Take care. God bless and I'll see you in the next video.